What's up guys and welcome back to Adventures in Concrete right here on Deco Creek TV. On today's episode, we're gonna be traveling to Belfountain, Ohio to visit the oldest concrete street in the USA. So stay tuned because we're gonna be taking a look at the current condition of the street, getting a little bit of its history and checking out the rest of the town that's around. Well, we finally got a sunny day here in Ohio. It looks like the perfect morning for a drive, so we are loading up and hitting the road. Belfountain might be a small town, but it's got a big story to tell about concrete. It's essentially the birthplace of concrete roadways here in the USA. Now, I've lived in Ohio most of my life, but until recently, I never knew that this historical site was just a few hours away. First time I heard of it was last fall, and I've been wanting to go check it out ever since. So we reached out to Mark Party, and he offered to meet us there to provide some historical context and help take us back to 1891 when this street was built. So I am standing here on Court Avenue in Bell Fountain, and uh, this is Mark with Ohio Concrete. So uh, Mark, welcome to the show. I thought we could just uh, take a little walk down, uh, down Court Avenue here, and just kind of thinking back to the time when this was actually poured and when this street was created. This concrete was not poured for the purpose of driving automobiles on. This was for horse and, and carriage traffic, correct? This was 10 years before Henry Ford brought out the first Model T and actually it ushered in the age of the automobile. So what we're standing on here is one of the five foot by five foot squares that the concrete was placed at. It was a process that proved to be very durable with cement manufactured right here by the inventor who did his experimenting in the back of that drugstore right there. His name was George Bartholomew. When he would travel the country, Philadelphia for example, he noticed people were walking in foot deep mud he learned how to manufacture cement. He even went to Germany for a few years to learn that process. Then he came to Belfountain, Ohio, because eight miles northeast of here was Marl City, where it had just the right amount of blue limestone and clay that he could mix together in a wet mixing process, which was used in this concrete here. There was all these first that they had to discover. They had to use something to grind it up into the powder that it is. And they actually imported flintstones from Iceland and they would break down the clinker into the cement powder. So they would take the wagon loads of the materials out in the middle of the street here in about a 20 by 20 foot platform. And they would mix the dry materials up by hand and shovel it in a five by five foot square tamped in place by hand, 35 pound hand tampers. First compacted a layer down to four inch, and then they did a two inch topping layer. Very little water, you hardly had any moisture come up on the top when they got done packing it. When he was doing the construction, it got a little late in the year, he was worried about the concrete freezing. So he actually covered the top of the concrete with two inches of sawdust. And that was his insulation method at that time. The way they cured it was to put a couple inches of wet sand over the top. So they kept moisture in it too. The laborers were only making about a buck an hour at that time. But they paid these guys a buck 50 an hour because it was really hard work. So he came up with the idea of using this as a pavement, tried to convince the city of Bell Fountain to, to do this. And in 1891, he finally got the permission for the city to do a test strip. He had to put down a $5,000 bond to a, the city to allow him to put the first street in. The people didn't think that would last a year with the steel wheels on the wagons and horse hoofs. The workers on this crew, they were being jarred by the, the citizens here saying, you know, you're wasting your time, it's not gonna last. And they thought they were crazy. Uh, George Bartholomew was one of those. They, they, they said, uh, great idea, but uh, not, probably not for our roads. And, uh, yeah. you know, they took a chance on him. He took a chance on Bell Fountain and uh, the rest was history. My name is Ben Stoller and I'm Mayor Bell Fountain. We have the oldest paved street in America, uh, which now dates us back about 130 years. And uh, this has always been a, a special aspect of Bell Fountain. And you'll hear that from just the average person. You can see that business is taking place on this, cars will park on this, and, and you can get a cup of coffee. And that's your backdrop, is the oldest concrete street in America. So it's, it's a great story. We've got a number of historical facts about our area, but that's probably one we're most proud of. This concrete that was placed here was cored a sample in the, in the 60s, showed up at being 8,000 PSI concrete. So they were doing something right. So he paid his $5,000 bond. It was successful. And by the time they put in this street here, then the next street wanted to have concrete paved on their side. And then they all petitioned the city to have concrete paved street 
the, the era in which this came in was a critical time for the country. Now we could have heavy trucks that could travel without getting stuck on the roads. We were able to transport goods and troops during wartime on streets they could rely on throughout the year. So the whole transportation industry kind of goes back to this street right here. Another claim to fame to Bell Fountain is that we actually have the shortest street in America. It's about 16 foot long. We're a little uh, sad about the fact that it used to be in the Guinness World Book as the shortest street in the world, but uh, ah, the guys in Scotland, somehow they came up with a 15 foot street. I think they just wanted to edge us out. This is our bicentennial year, and I think we need to make a little more fuss over having America's shortest street, and so we're gonna dress that up a little bit this year and see what we can't do about that, because we don't want you to come down and visit and, uh, and, and say, but where is it? Well, <laughs> you may be standing in it, you know, blink your eye and you'll miss it. Another uh, proud moment in downtown, our courthouse was completed just after the Civil War. That's the bells you're hearing, 1870s. In this backdrop, this building is 1880s behind us. We've done our best to try to restore and pay respect to our history. People appreciate that. Yeah. And then we get visitors that, that want to see a historic footprint. We're registered with the nation as a historic landmark, which meant most of our buildings had to be preserving history. It's too easy to tear down a building and build something shiny and new. And I think we've taken the aspect that if, it's, if it was built right, and most of these were, let's clean it up and continue to celebrate. Well, folks, that's pretty much it for today's adventure. Uh, we had a chance to walk across the oldest concrete street in the country and learn a ton about how it was built. Uh, we also got to meet Mayor Stoller and check out some of the other landmarks around town, including the highest elevated point in Ohio. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So, from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, so long, thanks for watching, who knows where we might go next. <laughs>